That allows an attacker to interfere with the queries that an application makes to its database. It refers to an injection attack wherein an attacker can execute malicious SQL statements. Here, attackers are able to inject malicious instructions into benignments, all of which are then sent to the database server through a web application. By leveraging SQL injection vulnerabilities. Given the right circumstances, an attacker can use its mechanism and retrieve the contents of an entire database. It can provide an attacker with the unauthorized access to sensitive data, including customers' data, personal personal identification information, and other sensitive information. It used to add, modify, and delete records in database, affecting data integrity. Let us know about the tool used for this. Next. SQL map. SQL map is an open source penetration testing tool that automates the process of detecting and exploiting SQL injection flaws and taking over of database servers. It comes with powerful detection engine, many, uh, many niche features for the ultimate penetration tester, and a broad range of switches lasting from database fingerprinting. The features are like it fully supports for MySQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server. IBM DB2 SQLite. It also supports six SQL injection techniques. It works by data fetching from database to accessing the underlying file system and executing commands on the operating system via out of band connection. The next information is given by Rupika. Advantages and disadvantages. SQL injection is applicable to every website which uses SQL database. With the help of SQL injection, we can retrieve the content of the entire SQL database. Along with that, we can also alter the database such as add, modify, and delete. Along with its advantage, it also has major drawbacks such as it volatiles the privacy of users. That is unauthorized access to sensitive data. Such type of attack are considered as malicious attack. An attack which attempts to forcefully abuse or to damage the system or to gain access to personal information. Next slide. So here are the major attacks. SQL injection attack in 2019 led to theft of complete text data of 5 million people. There was an attacker who was able to steal data of 5 million people. Thus, SQL injection is one of the most used methods by attacker. So, there are some detection and prevention to avoid during injection, SQL injection in a system. Detection. Using a vulnerability scanner called as DAST tool, we can analyze the vulnerabilities in a system and fix the vulnerabilities. For prevention, we, to prevent SQL injection attack, we can use parameterized queries called as prepared statement or store procedure. A parameterized query is a pre compiling of SQL statement. Further demonstration will be shown by Shubham. So, hi guys. Now my name is Shivamara and now you see the demo First of all, uh, you need to download the SQL and package from the website. Uh, Shubham, your voice is not clear. Uh, Hello. Speak loudly. Yeah. Hello. First of all, we need to download the SQL map uh, package from this particular website. Oh. 
now we have downloaded it and we have to extract it so it, this will give you this particular folder which have the sql map python file in it so now we have to since it is a python file we need to set the python environment is it visible make it full screen you need find the python folder either in your c drive or else it will be present in your users from app data to local in programs in python so this is the part to the python folder we have to just copy it and paste it here so now we have we need to set uh, go into the folder and set part to the that sql map folder so we can perform the further uh, further operations on it now we have to run the sql map file python sql map dot python so now we have started so our first command is to access the particular database from server so we will take this file so which has a link in it first the python sql first the python sql map.py then the link dash dps if you are performing it for the first time or uh, then it will take a little bit time to download the database as per its size so since i have performed it already so now it, it is directly fetching the names of a actual the name of the database like here we have two databases one is actuar and another one is information schema now if we want to fetch the uh, tables from the particular database so here on a have another command is same for the means the data from the database like you are we need to fetch the tables so it will show the names of all the tables now the our next task is to print the you know, column names or a particular details of a table so we will be fetching that details also 
since for database you will be using d now to print a table we need to use d, capital d dash d from database d you will be printing tables of hard disk double dash columns Now it has fetched the details of a column name like there are three names column ID say K name or artist ID. So now if we want to uh, print the details of a particular column or the data uh, uh, available in that particular column we have another command which is dump. So we will be using this. D means uh, from at your database. D means the table from table artist and capital C means from column. Let's say double dash. This is the entry of that essay column and this one is the entry of a name column so there are three values available here so that's it uh, these are the three uh, four to five elements we have uh, four to five operations we have need to perform on this thank you